What is going on, my fans? So, Devin Haney responded to Shakur Stevenson after his performance or wrote on Twitter after his performance that I should have given him 10% instead of 25%. As, you know, he's, he's trying to add to everybody piling on Shakur Stevenson for his performance, which was bad, so rightfully so. And then Tank Davis said, that's what we're trying to offer you, 10%. Now, Devin Haney specifically did not respond to that tweet. He didn't put a tweet, a repost, requote tweet, or quote tweet off of what Tank Davis uh, stated. But he's, Tank Davis made it seem like there was this soft offer that's floating, where he's like, well, that's what we've been trying to offer you, and you're not accepting it. Now, Bill Haney, on the other hand, Bill Haney was on the Boxing Voice, and he commented on that 10%. Now, he was belittling Tank, saying that, you know, he's not, uh, he thinks he's all that, but he's not really all that, or whatever it is. And Bill Haney said that we are willing to take no less than the Ryan Garcia offer. And he should have offered Shakur 10%. He opened the door for Tank. I don't know if you've seen that, so I'll screen share Tank, that and get your no, thoughts. He ain't opened the door for no motherfucking Tank. Tank is in our business, right, saying some goofy shit because he's a goofy. Right, and he never wanted to fight. He never wanted to get down and not to improve. You know what I'm saying? Get up out of here, man. And and this the thing about Tank is that he got a boss anyway. So you know what I mean? We ain't gonna. You know what I mean? Listen, stop tweeting and have your boss call us if that's what it is, because you're not a boss. Devin is a boss. Period. But he 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 tweeted, "That's what I'm offering you, son, son." Meaning. The 10% that Devin feels he should have offered Shakur is what he feels he's going to send okay. to Haney. Okay, and guess what? Guess what? Uh, listen, it then got to my table. So, listen, I'm countering with the same deal that you gave Ryan Garcia or nothing. Uh, That's the counter. That's crazy. Because the Ryan Garcia offer, or although the purse... The guaranteed purse was like five million for for uh, Tank Davis and two point five million for Ryan Garcia. The actual pay per view revenue and everything else was fifty fifty. Now this is why I always tell you guys, don't put all of who you are into a fighter, because at some point your logical consistency will have to break. The same way everybody was chastising um, Shakur Stevenson about the 25%, without mentioning the second part to that negotiation where Shakur Stevenson pushed for a mandatory. So if he didn't want to fight Devin Haney, why did he make Devin Haney risk not being undisputed anymore? by creating a mandatory where Devin Haney would have to relinquish the belt to not be un and not be undisputed anymore or fight Shakur Stevenson. If Shakur didn't want to fight him, why would Shakur do that? Um, in my opinion, I, it's just opinion. I believe that Shakur was trying to negotiate, but Devin was hard stuck on 25%. So Shakur said, okay, we'll do a 30% split. I'll, I'll take 30% with the mandatory. Because uh, that's what would have happened. It would have raised it 5%. Just a little bit more, but still, he went through the correct avenues and got it, and got it approved through the WBC mandate. But everyone, you know, till this day, they're like, well, look, he didn't care for trying to become undisputed, for trying to get in a better position, so for trying to bet on himself so that he get, he has he's in a better place for future competition. Now, granted, Tank isn't undisputed, but beating Tank, fighting Tank, and betting on yourself is it's better, it's bigger than winning undisputed against George Cambosis Jr., which is the truth. It's the unfortunate truth that people don't want to accept. It's a bigger stage. Being undisputed is great, 
is good for legacy, but it's a much bigger stage if you fight Tank Davis. What bargaining power does Bill Haney or Devin Haney have to want 50-50 split of the revenue? And saying that that is their, the lowest that they will go, that is the hard line from Bill Haney. 50-50 or nothing. I'm curious to see how the community will try to finesse this situation because it is a direct, a direct contradiction to the bet on yourself narrative that people were pushing for Shakur Stevenson. That's why I always tell you guys, do not make yourself part of these fighters where you agree with everything that they do and you would disagree with zero things that they do because your logical consistency will eventually be snapped because they're making deals and having fights and doing contracts and gaining weight, losing weight, moving up in, in weight division. They're doing things that will be similar to things that you've chastised in the past. You must remain consistent. If you're not consistent, then it just comes off as very biased and just going with whatever the fighter that you attached your personal being to. Shakur Stevenson had a bad performance, and what do we do here? We criticize his bad performance. Doesn't matter if Shakur Stevenson is a fighter that I like or not. We criticize his bad performance. We don't take any excuses about his arm was hurt, his shoulder or his hand was hurt. We don't accept any of that because we keep our logical consistency. Whatever is our North Star, we always stay with our opinion North Star. I don't believe in people saying excuses in, in fights. It doesn't matter if the excuse is coming from a fighter that I appreciate or not. I'm curious, what do you guys think Devin Haney should do? Should he take the 10%? Should he bring it up to 25%? Should he force the whole thing to only happen if it's 50-50? Let me, let me know down in the comment section below. But it is an incredible contradiction to the whole bet on yourself. And granted, although it's not four belts and it's not an undisputed fight, it is still a fight that will elevate him higher than even the fight when he won the undisputed title. And that's just the truth. Us diehard boxing fans, the fans that watch all the fights, we're going to watch his fights no matter what. We're going to watch Devin Haney no matter what. We're going to be happy that he won the undisputed title at a young age. We're going to enjoy that. But the casual fans, is that going to move them to watch Devin Haney more? What's going to move them to watch him more? A tank fight or a Cambosis undisputed belt fight? Be honest with yourself. Anyways, that's my two cents on this recent news that uh, dropped. I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace out.